Sebastian Fundora versus Erickson Lubin. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, a little bit different look. I'm on the, the balcony. It's a beautiful day out here in California. Smash the like button. Now, I want to make this video because this is the fight I'm really checking for. Erickson Lubin, Sebastian Fundora. What can I say? Showtime. Man, y'all outdid yourself. Keep in mind, tomorrow, there's a lot of boxing on. There's a lot of boxing on. You got Ryan Garcia. You got Triple G. Had no guys. Had mocks. His punch is nothing. Right? He's Ryan's making a, a return after 15 months out of the sport. And Michaela Mayer, she got a fight on top rank. And then you have the Showtime card. The Showtime fight is probably the one I'm most excited for, me personally, just because I think it's gonna deliver. And I think that it's the type of fight that really could be the fight that steals the show and steals the night where everybody for the remainder of the night is talking about that one fight. The styles gel well. I think Sebastian Fundora, they call him the, you know, he, he looks like Slender Man, that's what I call him. And he's the Inferno or Towering something. He looked huge at the weigh-in, huge. Much bigger than Erickson Lubin. Erickson Lubin's 5'9", and he was just completely dwarf looking up to uh, Sebastian Fundora. Now, the thing that makes this interesting, again, is the style, styles make fights. Erickson Lubin, in my opinion, is the more technical, fundamentally sound guy, but he's also the guy that's been stopped before. So, he has the edge in fundamentals, he has the edge in experience, he's had the better caliber names, he really impressed me versus Jason Rosario, who beat J-Rock, came up short to the king of the division, Jermail Charlo. You know, there's no shame losing to him. Lubin looked real sharp in that fight, and he was able to stop him. So, great performance by Erickson Lubin in that particular one. But the common denominator him and Rosario both have is they fought Charlo, and they both were stopped by Charlo. For Erickson Lubin, he was stopped in the first round. Now, Erickson Lubin... He was, he was kind of like that flame that shot up too quick. You know what I mean? And he had that reality check because Jermail Charlo at the bar play sizzled him, knocked him out. First round, it's over. And I think Erickson Lubin hasn't fully recovered from that, from the fans' perspective. He kind of still gets a bad rap because of how that fight played out. But I don't think that's entirely fair. It's kind of like an Adrian Broner, you know? Adrian Broner, when he lost to Madonna, you had a lot of the fans that you see on your way up and you're undefeated and you smacking guys and stuff everybody's on your side that's how boxing works as soon as you take a bad nasty loss like broner madonna erickson lubin first round knockout you know all of some of them fair weather fans just disappear but all in all he's rebounded very well i think he's the more technical guy sebastian fundura again the style should gel well because he's um he's not known for his defense he doesn't fight tall but he fights and he puts a lot of punches together and it's just a weird trajectory for all the opponents that I've seen him in with in this weight category. They all got to punch up and it looks like almost like what's his name? Mighty Mac from Punch Out from Mike Tyson's Punch Out, the classic Nintendo game. It just looks ridiculous. And he has a style that can overwhelm you and, you know, get to you and, and stop you. He has some power combination punches. He lets his hands go. He, he doesn't have the sharpest defense. So all in all, I think this is the fight to watch for. I think this is the fight out of all the fights. It's the most meaningful fight. And it's also the fight to me that I think will ultimately deliver what the fans are looking about, looking for. And ultimately, it could be the fight that everyone's talking about at the end of the night. So lots of boxing, loads of boxing on. The weigh-in look ridiculous like I predicted. Sebastian Fandora, he's just a tall guy. Styles should play well into each other. Meaningful fight. You got Jamel Charlo fighting against Brian Castaño. I got videos coming about that. The first fight was classic. So the winner of this fight would probably be looking in that direction within a few fights. Also, Tim Zhu, he had his U.S. debut, so maybe that's an opponent for him. Because I don't, me personally, I don't think Tim Zhu's ready for Jamel Charlo Castano winner. You know, that's just my personal opinion, but he's a mandatory, so he might get the opportunity. Let me know what you guys think. Erickson Lubin, Fundora. You know, I don't even really have a pick because I, I think it's any man's fight. It depends on how they fight, if they fight sensible, stuff like that. So, you know, we're doing the, the, the balcony 
the balcony view. I'm trying to give you a different vantage point. Subscribe to the channel. If you love what I'm doing, I'm the best in the business. Erickson Lubin, Sebastian Fundora, Manana, Showtime. Boxing Eagle Watch Party. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.